Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be hopping into another new deck inside of Clash Royale where I'm going to be showing you guys my absolute favorite deck after the balancing changes came out. That's right. We're going to be playing this Pekka Hut Miner deck that's been so, so good for me. Honestly, something about this deck works really well into most of the matchups I've been playing. You've got Pekka for Golem. Um, you've got so many other cards that work so well. Obviously, the Goblin Hut is completely dirty and OP. If you guys aren't using Goblin Hut inside of your deck, I definitely recommend that you do until they nerf it. One Spear Goblin nerf obviously wasn't enough to stop this card, uh, but yeah, this deck works really, really great. It's super effective. You've got Log plus Zap inside of this deck, which is super strange. Normally, you only pick one or another, but it actually works amazing inside of this one. So I wanted to show you guys it today and hopefully pick up some wins. I actually played this deck against a couple of pro players who I won't shame, and I ended up beating them with it. So if a, you know, if a bozo like me can do it, you guys can do it too. Let's do this. Now, Goblin Hut placement, make sure you place it right on this tile right here, or one tile to the left, obviously. If you play it one tile downwards, they can actually end up um, you know, using a Hog Rider and not having it catch on to this Goblin Hut. By the way, he spent three Elixir on that Miner, and that Miner did almost nothing. It took the tower, or the, the Goblin Hut down just a little bit. So now I'm going to go with my own Miner counter push right here. He's going to throw down his Lumberjack. I'm going to go ahead and let my Spear Goblins uh, hammer away. I'm going to go ahead and get ready with that Poison Spell right here. Wow, he's going to go hard right now, and all we have to do is play our Electro Wizard and clean up this push in style. Let's do it. Inferno Dragon, gonna lock on. He's even gonna zap my Electro Wizard. Obviously, that's not gonna work great. We've got an Electro Wizard for a counter push. And guys, even though I'm low in Elixir, I'm gonna play yet another Goblin Hut and keep that pressure going down the lane. Two Elixir Wizard shots, or two Electro, I almost said Elixir Wizard right there. That would be ridiculous. If you could shoot Elixir, that probably wouldn't be good because you would give it to your opponent. Moving on. Back into the battle. We are just dominating this guy so far. Pekka is going to work well against his Lumberjack. Pekka is going to work well against his Miner. Uh, I can catch it and go for some counter pushes. I have Electro Wizard plus Zap to go crazy on him with. I'm not even going to log right here. I'm just going to go for our Miner. See if we can clean up this Princess. Well done. Princess will die. It even baited out his Lumberjack. So once again, guys, going to play our Mega Minion instead of the Pekka because I don't want to go too hard, uh, especially in Single Elixir when he can just play his Inferno Dragon. Mega Minion is going to do more than a great job for us. And all I'm going to do is drop a Poison. I could have even dropped my Zap spell right there, guys. I would have gotten so much Elixir. And since this guy is making negative trades, it might even be time to drop our first P.E.K.K.A., but I'm scared. I'm going to play it by the book right now, guys. I'm going to get our Electro Wizard going down the lane. Double Elixir is about to happen. I'm going to keep that P.E.K.K.A. hidden up my sleeve just in case something crazy happens. And uh, here goes our Electro Wizard. Here goes our Goblin Hut. And let's keep doing what we're doing. And Mega Knight's going to go down. See, that's why we didn't play our pack is too early now we can play it at a perfect timing sparky is going to come down fascinating stuff i'm gonna let that sparky actually get a hit against our pekka uh, right there should be able to close to take it out before it hits the pekka once again beautifully done gonna throw a miner down this lane guys a little bit of an overcommitment. i don't really know what else uh, he can do right here and i guess i'll play my poison spell but this game is pretty close to over guys we've got the spells we've got miner for direct damage gonna just let our goblins keep running down this lane i'll play another electro wizard instead of setting up with a goblin hut still uh, all we have to do is log down this princess. I'm using so much elixir right now, but honestly, unless he goes for a hard counter push on this left-hand side, this game's going to be over. So as the Electro Wizard runs across, Mega Knight's going to go down. We'll play our P.E.K.K.A. right now. Stop this in its tracks. I've got the Mega Minion right here. Going to make sure that we zap that Inferno Dragon just in time. Give it a little bit of time to heat up, but not too much. P.E.K.K.A., Miner, Mega Minion, Spear Goblins down the lane. And uh, yeah, this game was a steamroll. And I didn't really sweat too much picking up that victory. GG. This is why this deck works well. You can see how much control I had inside of it. I didn't have to do anything. All I had to do was play my Goblin Nuts. And then I forced him to make a play. And every time he made a play, I made a positive elixir trade. That's how easy it was. That's how you're going to win battles. Let your opponents make the mistakes other than you going crazy, which is something I do all the time. Like, I just, like, lose my mind, and I throw a Battle Ram Minion Horde combo down the lane when I don't even know what they're, you know, what they're rocking inside of their deck. And, uh, yeah, we forced him to play defensive. It worked out great for us. I'm going to get our bats ready right here. I think I have to eat that minor damage, so I'm going to throw my own minor on this side to see what he does. Uh, bats plus minor. I don't have too much of a prediction for what he's playing. I'm going to play our log to clean this up, and we have to play our mega minion, which is, uh, ooh, this is ugly right now. That lumberjack buff gave that lumberjack a little bit more HP, so not the best start to the game for us. Obviously, we want to start with our goblin hut as many times as we can. If these spear goblins run down the lane, I'm just going to go ahead and play our, um, I'm going to go ahead and play our electro wizard right here to slop those down, as well as that's going to turn around and hit the miner, so not too bad. And, uh, yeah, we just want this game to get on more ev even footing, and then we can go ahead and go in with our spear goblins. That's what's going to happen right now. I'm going to start our goblin hut down 
the left hand lane actually i'll start it down the right hand lane because he's probably playing poison and uh, we want to make sure that we don't give him poison value on that left hand tower that is 200 more hp the small things add up guys i think the small things are what win and you lose you your battles so let's check this goblin hut going in right now here goes the mega knight let's drop our pekka right now gonna catch that mega knight right in the nick of time i can drop our log right here gonna be able to clean up that gang for a positive elixir trade gang violence has been stopped guys you know i'm a big proponent opponent going against gang violence inside of clash royale pack is going to roll its way down the lane now what does our friend do right here and all i'm going to do is when he throws down that inferno dragon i'm going to go for the miner i've got bats for his zap or zap for his bats he's going to throw down his lumberjack not too big of a concern for me and seeing as this oh, i want to play all right guys i don't know what i was supposed to do right there i might have made a bit of a dumb play i wanted to play my electro wizard so it would run down the right hand lane after i put in some work look at this lumberjack going in though so much damage and uh, we're just going to go ahead and have to clean all of... Oh, are you joking right now? This guy's just spamming me up. Mega Minion's going to go down here, clean up these Spear Goblins. We had to eat that Miner right there. So, all right. Let's let's uh, let's turn this back around with a Goblin Hut right here. Uh, obviously, P.E.K.K.A. is going to be hard to play. But now that we're in Double Elixir, we have Zap plus Electro Wizard. So, I feel much better than Single Elixir if I would have thrown that same card down. Here goes his push on this side. I'm going to go ahead and get ready with a P.E.K.K.A. actually right here to see if we can just eat this Lumberjack up. Beautifully done. I'm going to zap this, give our Miner a little bit more damage right there, even though his Spear Goblins were actually doing okay. And as we roll through, guys, time to play our E-Wiz. And this is a risky play, but the E-Wiz will lock on, which means Poison Spell can go down for these Spear Goblins. Guys, beautiful plays. Since he's busy on that side, we can go ahead and just drop our Miner over here. Pekka's going to eat a shot out of that. We can even play this. I'm going to get ready with this. All right, now we got to get a little bit worried about this Mega Minion. Oh, no, guys. We might have made mistakes. Okay, when I say we might have made mistakes, we made major mistakes. Got to play our Electro Wizard. Stop this Lumberjack from destroying us. Looks like it's going to work okay, but guys... <clears throat> Rage Spell is going to go down. This is going to be a tough battle. Oh, no. I missed my Miner prediction. Oh, no. We got to play this right here. Miner's going to go down and kill all of this. Does he have Zap or something similar? What are we going to do? I've got my Goblin Hut, which I'm going to play right here. Hopefully, this Goblin Hut distracts the Lumberjack. Please. Oh, we distracted the Lumberjack. Whew. Uh, I'm going to play my Electro Wizard right here. Stop that right there. Oh, man, guys. This is so intense. How are we going to do this? Miner's going to get a hit against our tower. Are you joking me? Time to go hard on this side. Gotta go hard right here with this. Log's gonna go down right here. Log's gonna clean all that up. Zap's gonna kill the bats. Do we have enough? Do we have enough? Come on! Just barely gonna stop that right there. Gotta play our miner. Guys, the secret miner prediction placement. Please. This game is so easy. That's gonna be a one crown to zero victory, guys. Let's go. I don't know why this game is so easy sometimes. Whew, that's why it's my favorite deck. It gives me a little bit of a heart attack. I need to hook up like a heart rate monitor to when I play Royale. That would be cool. Let me know if you guys want to see that in the comment section below. Let's go with Flores right here and see if we can take him out. Let's do this. All right, Goblin Hut. Guys, Battle 1 was as easy as they come. This one was uh, much more difficult. Uh, taking a look, we've got a fireball start onto the uh, Goblin Hut. I've got to say, i got to give him a well played right there because that's uh, not really what you want to do. Seeing as we have the Elixir lead, all I have to do is hang out, wait for him to play something. He's going to play his Mega Minion, another card that's really not going to do too much, guys. And should we go for the Disrespectful P.E.K.K.A.? This P.E.K.K.A. would have no respect at all for our opponent, and I'm going to do it because there goes a giant, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And guess what card's out of rotation? Would it be the Fireball? Oh, no, the Fireball is out of rotation. We are going to run down this lane. The Mini P.E.K.K.A. is going to do nothing. The Cry Faces are coming out. The Miner's coming in right now. And that's going to be a GG. All right. You throw out, you know, you throw a little BM in the beginning and you get what comes back to us or what back to you. Yeah, that's going to be, that's going to be an easy dub right there. Fireball is going to come in. Oh my word. He's going to fireball us. Finally, it's in rotation after he fireballed our Goblin HUD. And uh, yeah, this one's going to be pretty close to over guys. All right. Well, let's just go ahead and calm ourselves back down after the uh, fun onslaught uh, in the beginning. We're going to get a Goblin HUD going. Let's see how he responds to it. If he has, you know, his giant, we can obviously respond with our P.E.K.K.A. We have a really nice card rotation. Honestly, our deck does super well against his as well. Um, you know, having all of those spells is super, super effective. He's playing this giant bowler deck that I have seen a decent amount of. I'm going to get our Mega Minion down this time on the left hand side so we don't give him any fireball value, even though it's not in rotation. And as it moves its way down the lane, guys, 
I'm gonna just play our P.E.K.K.A. And there goes the, uh, there goes the giant. Nothing too much happening right now. Gonna let all of this go in, guys. Gonna play our Electro Wizard to help clean up. Electro Wizard's gonna retarget this Mega Minion. Everything else is going down right there. Electro Wizard putting in some work. Miner going down over here. This bowler's gonna take it to the face. Not gonna get another bowl down the lane. You are not bowling any strikes, sir, because that tower is getting blasted by a one P.E.K.K.A. shot, two P.E.K.K.A. shots, three P.E.K.K.A. shots, that's going to be the end of that tower, guys. This battle is basically over. We've got 50 seconds left on the clock. He's going to throw down a bowler. I'm surprised he hasn't given up by now. I can respect that, Flores. Beautiful value from his fireball. But unfortunately, that one goblin hut was very, very low. And as we get ready, guys, just going to throw a P.E.K.K.A. right in front of this bowler's face. Seeing as there's no reason not, why not to. Oh, and he's going to go for the uh, he's going to go for the crown chest right now, which I definitely respect. But uh, we should be able to knock him out fairly easily. Here we go with the miner. Here we go with the min mega minion. Looks like this is going to run down the lane. Do we give him the crown chest, guys? I think not, my friend. That's going to be the end of the battle, and that is why you don't sauce out a hundred cry faces at the beginning. of the battle. Saucing some stuff up right there. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Three crowns to zero inside of this one. Very well done. Uh, we got 920,000 gold. We are popped up right now, but guys, there's a reason that this is my favorite deck in Clash Royale right now. You guys could see from Battle 1 where we dominated to Battle 2 where it was a heart stopper, back to Battle 3 where we pulled out that victory with ease. Let me know what you guys think about this deck. This deck works amazing for me. Obviously, three legendaries, but you gotta, you know, sometimes you gotta throw down if you gotta do what you gotta do. But Pekka, Goblin Hut, just so much control inside of this deck. It's really, you know, one of my favorite decks to play, so I want you guys to play it as well. That's gonna do it for this video. If you guys have any decks you want me to try out, let me know in the comment section below or on Twitter at ChiefPad. I'm always checking my Twitter to see what you guys are saying. That's going to do it. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.